Hi everyone, it's Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 22 of the Let's Play Minecraft series. This is going to be a really good episode. Um, as you can see, we are doing a little bit of work on Rainbow Mountain on stream. Uh, by the way, it's uh, just Waxfraud on Twitch if you ever want to catch a stream. Um, but yeah, definitely check this out right here. I mean, might as well uh, just get it up in the background. Like, you can kind of see, like, it's not really all the way in the back, super back layers. Let's actually just turn around, because... No need to be in F5 mode for this, but yeah, I mean, look at this. We're kind of getting a little bit farther this way. This is all, this is all the wool we have right now. We have to let these guys keep getting shaved, keep getting sheared. I mean, not shaved. Well, I guess they're getting shaved, but anyways, we got to just keep on building up with this, with the materials that we have for now. And but uh, I think I'm gonna turn this into the pond today. That's what that's the goal because I was also thinking over here, this would be a sweet pond as well. There's a lot of sheep and cows that are spawning over here now. But if I turn this into a pond and this into a pond. This is going to be a sweet, sweet world. And then I think I'm going to turn this into like a little bit of a canyon slash cave system with wool. Maybe concrete, just depending on what material needs to go in the cave. But this is going to be sweet. I mean, we already started work back here on stream. All of this got done on stream. As you can see, we ran out of red and orange. Those were the first two colors that we ran out of, actually. So, um, I mean, it's probably because we used a bunch like as this base here, but could have honestly not used it all. Um, we used a bunch to bring it out here, but we could have used, like, other materials to be, like, the underside of it and just coated it with a wool, but I didn't really know how well it was going to look, and I like just kind of, and you know, it's it's just an unlimited amount of wool anyways, because I'm about to make an iron farm pretty soon, and I feel like, you know, this is, this is just quite a bit of wool, but we did run out, and so we're going to have to just do some other activities in the meantime. Oh, there's a cat right there. You just get out. Let's actually just save this cat. Hold on a second. Where are you going, dude? Hold on. There you go. There you go. Come on. All right, so I need to run. I need to go sleep, but yeah, I just thank you guys so much for watching these videos and just uh, just supporting me in, like in general. Um, just, if you've enjoyed anything so far, just go ahead and just leave a like and uh, subscribe as well. Um, I do appreciate it. Um, just helps the channel out. I can't believe. Yeah, this is a building that I started doing on stream, and then I was like, uh, I did have to leave stream, and uh, so I'll probably finish this on the next stream. I don't know. Maybe I'll finish it right now. I have to, I don't know. I just really didn't know where I was going with this. It looks so weird. It looks really weird, but I do want to get some Z's real quick. So no mobs start spawning. Only sleep at night. And I also just wanted to show just a couple of other things. I guess um, if you didn't see as I was jumping around, this is a brand new house that we built. I kind of like it. It's just a, I saw a picture of something on Instagram, so I don't know who to credit exactly for, but... Um, and then I kind of just incorporated some stuff myself, so this might be somewhat of an individual build. He seems to like it. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, I like this build. And then this other one, uh, not so sure about. I don't like it. I'm going to, I'm going to have to fix it. What might happen, what might be a good thing, because it looks good right here, you know. I don't mind right here. Like, this is fine. I'll probably fix it up just a little bit. Like, put some fence posts around there, or something at least. But I feel like we might have to build, like, a second level going up, because... This just isn't right. I just something about that backside doesn't look right. But I also do want to show you guys something else that I built. I'm having a conversation right here, but I'm gonna have to slide past you. Oh man, I got stuck. But yeah, uh, as you can see, I have the water bucket. I've been trying to do. I've been trying to practice the MLG stuff so that I can get better at falling. Um, but yeah, this is another house that we decided to build. This is kind of an original build as well. Uh, I saw a picture of something. It's like, I just like see pictures on like Pinterest and Instagram and then I kind of just base it off of that But yeah, I'm really liking this one and this is just like a house that kind of overlooks I put some stuff in here, but I don't think any villagers have taken I don't think they go this far yet There was because there was that fisherman that took his job right in here And he goes and sleeps on that bed sometime, but I put a smoker and a loom in here to see if they would take the job But I don't know and then I do really like how this roof turned out I kind of I don't know I like the wood and the, the stone the stone planks or slabs, I mean, but but yeah, that's the that's the update on all of the new buildings in town. What I did want to focus on today is uh, since we've been doing a lot, and I mean a lot of work on Rainbow Mountain, is uh, just focusing on the pond today. So as I hippity hop my way over here, let's see, yeah, all of this, all of this, this needs to be a pond. Like I've already kind of spaced it out in the way that I want it to be spaced. The only thing that it needs to be though is uh filled with water i think i don't know what the best way to do it though is because we put the water here and i did make an infinite water source right here and if you by the way if you want to make an infinite water source bam that's it you just need to put a water right here put a water right here and a four by four or two by two 
and uh, you just have unlimited water forever. But, I, like, if you put it right here, it goes down. Let's see, does it go all the way in there? Almost, actually. I could just do this. It doesn't... This is kind of... Hmm. I guess, you know, I should have thought about this just a little bit more, because I could just fill this up, actually, all the way, and then... You know what? Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna fill... I'm gonna fill all of this up with sand. It's gonna be a lot... A lot of sand, but it's gonna get done, and then we'll have to just break all the sand once the very top layer has water on it. Yep, so that's what's gonna happen. Hold on, let's 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 get that done actually. So let's drop everything that I have on me right now. And then uh we're gonna have to get a lot of sand. Yeah, we can kind of see right here also where I kinda haven't gone this far as well. So I really don't want to call Rainbow Mountain done until really I go this way as well, because I've been focusing mainly on where the town is, but there's going to be some builds over here as well, which will be pretty cool. I just kind of have to go over here now to get some red sand. I kind of want to go a little bit farther away from home than I did last time because I did it over there and some terracotta started to get exposed. Yeah, like that. So I kind of want to go a little bit farther away so it doesn't really look like that as much, I guess. Because um, I don't know if I'm going to ever build over here unless they're really, the sand kind of stops over here. Really, does. Yeah. Well, I could just kind of take all of the sand from here. Just kind of make it seem like there was never sand over here in the first place, but yeah, I'm just going to take all this red sand, and wow, that is satisfying, but yeah, I'm taking all this red sand, and I'm just going to plop it right in where it belongs back at the pond, and then uh, meet you guys back over there. And I just, I just found myself just, I don't know why, but just playing around down here and literally just clearing out, I was just clearing out some dirt, and then I was just like, I just started going way, way too, way too intense. Like, this all used to not be here, and then I was just like, ah... And I literally just took it all out, and uh, now it's not here anymore. There's some air pockets, which I guess is nice, so I can just be down here, but yeah. I literally just took that whole thing out, because I was just like, I'm not finding enough sand, really. And uh, just went after the dirt, and so we have quite a bit. I'm not sure if it's enough. It could be enough, but I'm going to grab just a little bit more sand to fill up the rest of what I had. The sun is going down. I think I have a bed on me. Yeah, I do have a bed on me. Um, so if I have to sleep, I definitely can. But, uh, I'm just gonna grab what I can here. I have a gra- uh, what can I drop? I don't need this. I don't need that. Let's grab all of what we can. And now we just gotta do the dirty work and just basically just build this place in. And just, uh, basically until there's one layer right there and then I feel like that's the, that's the way to do it. I'm just gonna just do this slowly. Oh man, this is probably gonna take a, at least like 10 minutes probably. Wow. Yeah, no, this is gonna take the 10 minutes at least. Give me, give me, give me about five minutes, and let's see how we get after five minutes. Well, we're, we're actually about six minutes in. I forgot to look at the timer, but I think that's about it. I mean, I have some gravel, I guess I could, could put here. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, this is, uh, about all we could do in that five minutes, so I'm assuming this is going to take a lot longer than I thought it was. I know I could get, like, ice blocks and fill this up, but if I want this to be a cool pond, it's just, I'm gonna have to just, uh, basically just keep filling this up so I'm at, I'm actually just gonna get back to you as soon as this is filled up and uh, so yeah hopefully it takes about less than 20 minutes let's see if I can do it something I've been thinking about is actually like I did mention like turning this into a pond as well and so I guess maybe a good start would just to be to start smacking this guy down right here that way we can kind of maybe start to take that out as well and so we can just start to see the mountain a little bit easier because I don't know if I want to turn this little foothill into a mountain I kind of just want to have the mountains in the background that way this can just be like a, I don't know, maybe I can extend the town out this way as well. I think maybe just the best, the best way to start is just to take out the sand. And uh, yeah, just start here and then fill the rest of it up. That way we don't have to go too far from home, because literally we can just bring it right back there. We can see that guy. Also, I had to catch a villager when we were on stream. Um, if you want to check out the VODs on Twitch, but we had to, I literally caught a villager and there was like a, a part of a raid going on, not a raid, but um, some pillagers in the, the nether portal and... Um, a wandering trader was in the nether portal as well. It, it was crazy. Like, I don't know, I don't know why or, or how they're in there, but, but they were. Well, I, uh, I definitely, uh, I mean, we're maybe halfway, a little bit less than halfway. That took about 20 minutes to put all that in there, so starting to take a little bit more time than I thought, but yeah, the diamond shovel is out of durability. Let's see, it has, yeah, 51 left, and so we could, I mean, actually, wait, this diamond shovel... It only has efficiency four. We could maybe get another shovel. We have diamonds. Let's just let's let's do it. Who cares? Let's see. We have a, enough sticks and enough diamonds. 
Let's see. Possibly. Because we have lapis? Yeah. Let's see. Oh my goodness, we have to make a gosh darn shovel before we can start any of that. I think we got the crafting tables already. Give me a shovel. Maybe just another one, just in case. Because we have a lot of diamonds. You never know. We might end up breaking the shovel. We might lose the shovel. Who knows? Let's put this in here. And let's see what we get. Oh my god, an efficiency four. Literally, right off the bat. What? What? That's literally the, the same thing, just without mending. That is an amazing... That's an amazing... That's it. That is... Alright, what else can we get? Another efficiency four? Because I want to keep that maybe as a backup. Let's just try this guy out. Efficiency four with silk touch. So that's great. So that's that's really nice. So it went, now we just have a bunch of shovels. This is cool. So might as well just... Well, I already enchanted that. So let's go back down. No need to keep that in there. That was amazing. Let's put the really good one here. And then I kind of want to just combine these two. And hopefully we can get efficiency five. We can... We can, and it only costs 16. Not bad, not bad. And it's fully done. Fully charged shovel at efficiency 5. I can't wait to start actually uh, going with efficiency 5. I thought it was already efficiency 5. I thought that it's only efficiency 4, though. Let's just hippity hop right back on over there. Man, we took, we cleared a lot of it out, but um, I guess it's just turning out to be a lot more space than I thought, which, I mean, is the. Uh, it's just an underlying theme of this theory, uh, not theory, wow, series. I am uh, just, uh, uh, as usual, unable to talk. Let's get all this out of here. Yeah, we cleared the heck out of this place. And we got all day to clear it out again. You can start to see Rainbow Mountain out in the open a little bit more without all of this sand in the way. Starting to hit sandstone a lot, though, so we're going to have to break out the pickaxe pretty soon. All right, yeah, we definitely took this place out. We're, we're clearing the heck out of it. There's really nowhere else. I mean, I kind of should come back for those, but... Yeah, that's like a, maybe a, a half a stack. I could come back for those, but um, yeah, I mean, we just got to basically fill the rest of this in, and uh, hopefully this should only take about 10 more minutes. My gosh, this is, yeah, this is definitely taking a little bit longer. Yeah, about 10 more minutes, and then we should be able to get this done. All right, so this is definitely the last few bits and pieces right here. Yeah, this is it for sure. Okay, unless there's like some other spots. Whoa, there, by I mean, guy, you're not supposed to be there. There we go, perfect. I think it's just, yeah, these last few parts over here in this hole. And I think I might have done that to the other side as well. Oh, yeah, I already placed some water right there. So it's going to start spreading. I think I just need to get this last, yeah, just these last few bits. And I think I brought over just enough. This actually did take me a couple trips. This took me like three trips over there. Um, and so next time I go over there, if you ever see me on live stream, you're going to see it. It's starting to look pretty bare. It's starting to look really bare. Uh, I don't know if I'll have to go back there again um, to get anything, but because um, we have we have so many we have so many um, glass panes after this, like this is glass for so long. All all of this is sand, and we're gonna have so much glass to work with after this. Once we basically get all the water um, out of this, but we just need to turn all of these into water sources, so we don't have any issues with the fish that we put in here. So basically, what we got to start doing is just start grabbing some water from here. Actually, I should probably grab a couple more buckets, but kind of just gonna start placing some. Um, I, like across the line here, um, across the edge, I mean, just every other one, because it creates a water source right in the middle here, if you do that, and so, like, I can take one from right here, and we have a water source, but, yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing that every other one, and, uh, just keep going along this way, I really should grab another bucket, that's gonna make everything a lot easier. Yeah, two is definitely easier, because I can just keep grabbing it, and then just placing it, and then grabbing it, grabbing it, placing it placing it yeah so i mean I'm, it's i mean i'm probably not doing it as fast as you possibly could but this is definitely a, an efficient way to do it because you can kind of see where the water um sources are um, based off of the reflection um you can see the reflection in the water sources a little bit better something i did want to show you though is if you turn around you might be able to see it a little bit better once i've uh put more of the sources in there but the Rainbow Mountain kind of puts an oily reflection off of the water, and it looks super cool. I can't wait. Like, at night, this is probably going to look really sweet. I'm really excited, so I'm just going to keep uh, just going back and forth on this, and uh, probably going to take me about five minutes to go all the way around, but let's see how fast we can get it done. And I'm pretty sure that that is it, but okay, yeah, that's what I was talking about in the river that I was seeing when I was in that canyon back there. This is sweet. Probably going to be able to see this in the ocean eventually too, but oh yeah. Oh, what? There's a bee up there. 
What are you doing? I literally just got this guy from on stream. Do I have the leads? I have leads on me. But yeah, look at the reflection on this. This is outstanding. This is so cool. This is not like this. I totally just forgot this would happen once I thought of this idea, but I'm glad that the Rainbow Mountain is here because this pond with the reflection of the pond, like you can see, only really see it when you're kind of facing the mountain. It's so cool. Do I have a flower on me? I don't. Really got to catch this guy. Let's, uh, maybe I can just go up the stairs that I made, actually. <laughs> Why not? Why not just use the stairs that I made? Or I could just go off-roading a little bit. And, uh, I think he is... I need to... I, th I should have made a way for myself to easily get up the mountain. I guess I kind of did right here. Alright, where are you at, Luke? Where are you at? I hope we didn't go too far. Oh, man. Uh, this is kind of annoying. I hope the bead... Maybe he's just running out of a place to live, but, uh... Oh, there he is. Let's go down here. Bam. Where you at, buddy? Why you back here? This ain't no place for a bee. No! No! That's so f Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. Where you at? Yes, don't go through the portal. Are you serious? Dude, if he goes... Oh... What... A difficult bee. You difficult, difficult bee. Gotcha. Okay. Let's take you this way. And, uh, you know what? We might have to just make another beehive. Maybe he just doesn't have enough room back at the, uh, back at the hive. I'm just gonna release the bee right here. And, uh, hopefully he just stays and finds a hive. But that means one of them, like, at all times is not gonna have room, probably. I did make, like, a... You can see, like, a beehive right there, but I wonder... I just need to, like, shear it because... Oh, there's a name tag right here. You know what I want to do? I'm actually just going to do this as well. This shovel is is just... It's really good, and it's efficiency 5 now, so I kind of just want to rename it. And I'm just going to call it the Sand Blaster. Sand Blaster. Bam. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so, actually, I forgot that you don't need the name tag to name tools, but I don't know why it cost me 4. It cost me 4 to name this item the Sand Blaster. I don't know why, I'm not like, and I'm not, it's still, still touch and mending. That's weird. Oh well, it's worth it, spending four points. Let's go back and just double check on this, because this is going to be sweet. Ow, that cactus is really just doing the damage. Well, actually, I need to take this bed real quick. Thanks for letting me sleep there, sir, but, uh, yeah. I'm probably going to take a bunch of these, that's why I might have to go find another ocean monument or go back to the ocean monument that, ocean, wow, I cannot talk, ocean monument that we found. Um, originally and uh, get a lot more of these because these are nice and bright and we're also gonna have to go get some coral as well but oh my god actually look at this the sun is going up this is actually great for a thumbnail wow that's so nice that is just extremely peaceful wow anyways Jizo, that's so cool um we do need to basically just start going down, just like one, like this, just one at a time. And uh, I know it's maybe not going to create like source blocks. Um, obviously not going, oh geez, I'm stuck. What's going on? It's not going to create like source blocks, really. Um, but what we could do is, where like it's not going to really matter all that much unless we see like the fish that if they can't swim. But we'll go in and we'll add water where it needs to be so that the sea pickles can light up and everything else can be what it needs to be. I just really wanted to, to have like a flat level on top and the easiest way to do that was to fill it all in with sand and that's exactly what we did. But I kind of want to go slow because obviously if you go fast you get those air pockets like you just saw me glitch out in right there. So I'm just going to go one at a time on this. I know it might take a little bit but if I just kind of like that, like ah, I can't do it yet but well I guess if I do it all one row it doesn't, oh, you know what? That's actually pretty nice. There we go. Actually that's that actually works out very nice. So I'm just going to do it row by row. And uh, I actually might have to go down to the... Oh, see, that's what I'm trying to avoid right there. I don't know why that actually glitched out. That was kind of weird. Let's put you right there back. Oh, this is actually working out just fine. So never mind. Never mind. I don't even know what I was saying. In this episode, we were uh, kind of basically just gathering everything that we needed. Filling up this hole right here. And uh, uh, basically... Oh, God, we're gathering all this sand up again. I'm going to have to make a run back to the house multiple times. So we're going to have some full inventories. I guess we have a spruce door and a bunch of random stuff that's taken up us a lot of space here. But but yeah, you know what? Um, you, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. This is going to be a super fun project that's going to happen in the meantime while we're waiting for the rest of these sheep to get shaved, sheared, and ready to go for the rest of the mountain. 
But, uh, but yeah, if you guys like or enjoy anything on the series so far, please just, um, like and subscribe. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, on, on Twitch, if you want to live, if you want to live, wow, if you want to watch me do anything live, go ahead and just uh, follow me on Twitch and then join the Discord as well. If you would like to, um, be a part of the community, everyone's super nice. It is awesome. Um, thank you guys so much. Super cool. I, I, this is, it's, it's so fun getting to record these, but, uh, but yeah, I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you so much. Bye.